welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW program, but I also give calories as well. So today's video is just going to be a very quick video. I am making my little portobello mushroom cap pizzas. These are so good. If you like mushrooms, you're going to love these. So I love mushrooms on my pizza. I just love the flavor that it gives. And what we're going to do is we're just going to replace the crust. Instead of crust, we're going to be using these portobello mushrooms. So these come out to three points each for me. And if you're counting calories, that's 148 calories based on the ingredients that I use. So if you use different types of ingredients, make sure to put that into your own tracker. So what we're gonna need for each one is one portobello mushroom cap. These come in a package with six ounces. So each one is about three ounces. So we're gonna need one of those. And this one is kind of falling apart. Let me see if this one, I like to just make sure that the sides are not real broken because of the fact that that's what's going to hold the sauce in, even though we really don't use much sauce. So I think I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to clean that in just a minute. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees and I've just got a baking sheet here that I've lined with aluminum foil and sprayed it with some cooking spray. So all I use for this, I use Prego Traditional, but if you wanna use any other kind of like zero point marinara, you can definitely do that. I only use one and a half tablespoons of that. I'm gonna be using four slices of Hormel Turkey Pepperoni. I also have one ounce of Palio Part Skim Mozzarella. So this kind is not shredded. I just usually buy like the big block of it and then I just shred it up myself. So that's what I have in here. And then I just put it on the scale and weigh out one ounce. That's all I do. So you can also put different toppings if you wanna put some vegetables on it. Uh, you can add pointed toppings, whatever you wanna do. And then a lot of times I'll usually add like maybe a little bit of oregano, basil, things like that to it. So the first thing we wanna do is get the mushroom cleaned. So for this, what you wanna do is either just take a knife and cut that stock out or just pull it out with your fingers. And then if you can see these gills, these are like, hairy kind of gills, you do not want those in there. They really make the flavor of foods kind of almost dirty tasting, like you're eating dirt or mud or something. So you wanna just take a spoon, I just take a spoon, and you don't even have to use a lot of pressure, and just spoon those right out of there. Just scrape it, and it'll come right out. And that's it, that's all you do. Just try to get as much out as you can. So now that's how we clean the inside. Now to clean the outside, we're just going to take a damp paper towel and just wipe it down. You just want to wipe any dirt residue that's on it. And that is how you clean these. Okay. So this is actually really high. So I'm going to cut some of this edge off and I was gonna use it for the inside, but since there is still some of the gills in there, I'm just gonna discard it. I just don't like my sides so high like that. So it really just depends on the size of the mushroom that you have. Okay, so that looks better. So now what I'm gonna do, I like to pop the mushroom in the oven for about 10 minutes, just to kind of pull some of the moisture from it before I put the ingredients on it. Okay, so that has been cooking for about 10 minutes. So as you can see, some of the moisture has come off. So now I'm gonna take my sauce and just put that right in there. One thing I usually do is brush this with some garlic water. So I usually buy like the glass jar of garlic and then I'll just pour a little bit out and just brush the inside with that, but I'm all out of that garlic, so I'm not gonna be doing that today. So just take your sauce and pour that right over top. Let's spread it out. So one and a half tablespoons of sauce, as you can see, it goes a long way. It does not sound like a lot of sauce, but it's really a decent amount for one of these. Next, take the cheese and spread that around. And again, I have one ounce of cheese here. Now one thing also, if you go to my website, I'll have a link where you can go straight to your WW app to see how many points this is for you. So now I'm just gonna put my four slices of pepperoni 
and I'm gonna put just a pinch of oregano and basil. And then like I said, if you wanna add some green peppers, some red peppers, some little tomatoes, for those of you who like pineapple, whatever you wanna add, just add that at this point. So now this is gonna go back in the oven and I'm just gonna keep it in there for maybe like 10 minutes, just long enough to get that cheese melted real good and then the mushroom cooked the rest of the way. All right, so that is done. Look at that. So that's my little portobello mushroom pizza. So let me show you what it looks like cut. So keep in mind, this honestly is more like a snack or a very light lunch. I definitely, I've had these for dinner, but of course when I have them for dinner, I usually have two, sometimes three, depending on my points for the day. But let me just show you what they look like inside. So there you go. It's got the mushroom on the bottom. And I'm telling you, if you like mushrooms, you're gonna love these. So let me know in the comments what's your favorite topping for your pizzas. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.